Alright guys, so today uh, I'm going to be showing you an entire trick. I just want to go over um, a really cool um, false shuffle you guys can do. So essentially in my last video, I posted a trick um, where you had to kind of keep the stop or the top stock of the deck, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out the four aces here. I'm going to show you guys what this looks like. So essentially this, this is going to be used when, let's say you have uh, cards on top, right? And you need those in a specific order but you uh, want to make it look like you're shuffling up the pack. So I'm not going to be teaching this. This is just a super simple ripple shuffle. Okay, that's what I pretty much did in the video as well. But I want to show you guys another way. So let's say you ripple shuffle the cards just like the way I did. Essentially what you could do is another really cool false shuffle, which looks just like that. And at this point, a lot of the cards have actually been mixed up. But if you want to just keep the top cards, you still kept the top cards that you needed to on top. So that is a uh, little trick, little video, um, and then I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. All right, so I don't remember um, where I first saw this. Um, I haven't really used it that much, but yesterday or the other day when I uploaded the video, um, I actually kind of um, implored this or implemented this into the actual trick itself. So here's what it is going to look like. So the first thing is obviously go ahead and get your cards, whatever you have in there, and just get them on top of the deck, whatever, whatever cards you're going to use. In this case, I'm going to use the four aces. So let's pretend for whatever reason I had to use the four aces, right? You put those on top of the deck. And from here, it's really simple. So I'm going to assume everybody, everybody here knows how to put the cards in for an overhand shuffle. So I'm going to take the aces off. So essentially, this is what you're doing, right? So an overhand shuffle just looks like this with your thumb and your middle finger up top. So like I said, guys, I'm assuming you all know how to do that. But what you want to do here is when you get in position for the overhand shuffle, all you have to do is peel off all peel off about half the deck. So essentially what you're doing is when you peel off around a half the deck, maybe a third of the deck, what you're doing is you're grabbing a giant uh, block of cards. So instead of just doing a normal overhand shuffle where you might just grab like this many cards, go ahead and grab around a third of the pack and then the next thing you want to do is you can peel off one or two, maybe three cards, but you're leaving them out jogged. So you go ahead, you take another swoop of cards. Like I said, you can put like that many in right here, as you guys can see. I have This is pretty exaggerated, but this is the out jog of the card. So right here, if I open this up, right below, right below the break, right here, those are going to be the top four aces. And then you can continue to shuffle the pack up. You can cover this up as well. And from here, this is a normal overhand shuffle. So it's not a complete false shuffle, but you are essentially leaving those cards on top. So from here, what you do is, as you guys can see, the bottom most card that's out jogged, that's going to be the card that you have to cut to. So essentially, you come over with your right hand, and all you guys have to do is push over this card using your thumb. You're pushing over. So this is basically just like an undercut, or when you're cutting the cards, getting a thumb break here, controlling the cards to the bottom and the top. Essentially, the same exact thing. You're coming over with the cards grabbing it and you're pushing to the left with your right thumb and pushing in at the same time. So you push down and that's going to cause you to get a break exactly where you need to get the break. So all you have to do here is cut the cards once from the break, put these back on top and then you are left with the four cards that you need on top. So like I said guys, this is a super, super um, quick video. I just wanted to because in the, my performance of the last card trick, I you know told you guys that I was going to teach this in a later video, so I just want to put this up here so at least I have this on my channel. You guys can watch this and go ahead and um, check out the other video as well. So as always guys, thanks for subscribing and uh, thanks for watching.